Hey guys, we're going to continue this Open Media Vault 5 series uh, today by installing a, an application called Transmission. Now, I'm not a fan of Transmission necessarily. I prefer Qubit Torrent for, this kind, for these kinds of things, but I have had some specific requests for Transmission. So I thought I'd go ahead and make this video. Now, because of the topic of this video, um, YouTube doesn't like uh, anything revolving around torrents because torrents are bad. Um, most of us know that they're not, um, but the reality is this video is going to probably be demonetized because we're talking about a, a torrent client. So uh, that being said, there will be some links in the description where you can support the channel if you feel so inclined and found this video helpful. Uh, all that being said, let's jump over to my desktop and I'll show you how to get Transmission installed on Open Media Vault 5. Okay guys, so in a previous video, I did show how to install Qubit Torrent into uh, Portainer and Docker and that sort of thing. A uh, very, very simple process, but I know some people uh, prefer a service called Transmission. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Transmission using a very similar method to what we did before. In fact, it's almost the exact same method. Uh, we're just gonna change a couple of things and then we should be good to go very, very quickly. So uh, what I'm gonna do just, uh, just to get us started here is I'm going to copy uh, this Docker Compose uh, layout here. So I'm just gonna highlight everything click copy, and then I'm gonna go over here to Portainer. Uh, again, you could go through uh, the process of going into containers and clicking add a container and filling in all of these uh, blocks one tab at a time. But uh, this one is a very, very simple one to install using stacks as well. Uh, here you can see that we did the Qubit torrent stack there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on stacks. I'm gonna paste that in there and I'm gonna grab that paste that in so we can name it transmission. Now, just like before, <clears throat> uh, lines one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, uh, we don't have to do anything with those. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at uh, uh, lines eight, nine, and, and 10, uh, and then we're actually gonna delete 11. I don't like 11, let's get rid of that one. So uh, in case you didn't watch the previous video, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up Putty because we, we will need to know what our PUID and PGID is. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, the IP address of my server here. And then I'm gonna drag this back up into the other window because it always opens in the wrong window. And I'm gonna log in as root. And then uh, in order to get the ID for my admin account, I'm just gonna type in ID admin. And here we can see the UID or PUID is 998 and the GID or PGID is 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 998. I'm gonna change that to 100. Uh, I am uh, close to Denver, so I'm gonna say America slash Denver. Uh, username and password, uh, I'm gonna say uh, DB Tech, um, and I'm just gonna say, uh, let's just leave it at password, uh, just so you can kind of see how this works. Now, for the path to data, uh, what we're looking for is a, a configuration folder. So what we can do then is actually go back over here to Open Media Vault, and we've got a configuration folder right here that we've created. Uh, right now we've got a Plex configuration in there, we've got a Qubit Torrent configuration in there. So let's go ahead and click Inspect. Uh, we're gonna just double click right in there, go over here and click Copy. Then we're gonna close that. We'll go back to Portainer, this configuration. We're gonna go ahead and paste that in there. And then we're just gonna say uh, Transmission. Uh, yep, that looks good. So then the next thing that we're gonna do um, is uh, very, very similar to what we did before. Uh, over here, we've got a uh, folder uh, called Torrents, um, but just so you can kind of see uh, how that process went in case you didn't watch my previous video, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a new folder. Uh, we're gonna click Add. We're gonna call this, uh, tr let's call it uh, Transmission. I'm gonna select my device. I'm gonna, that all looks good. Our permissions will be uh, everybody gets to read and write. Click Save. We're gonna go over here to SMB CIFS, go to shares, click add. Uh, we're gonna select the folder that we just created called transmission there. Uh, we're gonna say public, only guests, save. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and click on apply and click yes. We'll give this a minute to do its thing. Uh, and then we can go back over to, uh, well actually to our shared folders in order to get the path to the transmission folder that we just created. So we'll give this just a second here. Cool, so now we've got that done. So we can go over here to shared folders. Uh, right here, uh, it says transmission, files, transmission. Right here is our location. So uh, I'll go ahead and click on inspect. Uh, again, I'm just gonna double click that and copy and close. We're gonna go back to Portainer. Now the path to the downloads folder, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there. And I'm just gonna uh, append this with downloads. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing here, but this folder is gonna be called watch, just like that. So now we have uh, everything done that we need to do, all of our ports and everything that are set up. Uh, this will actually, we're, we're gonna actually find this on port 9091. So uh, what we'll do then is go ahead and click on uh, deploy the stack, and we'll give this uh, just a minute to load and do its thing. Of course, the faster your system is, theoretically, the faster this will deploy. Uh, so we'll give it just a second and then we'll get logged in. Okay, so now we've got our transmission uh, stack running there. We can come over here to containers. There we've got transmission. It looks like it's running. So we're gonna take a look at the logs here uh, just to make sure that everything looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I believe everything here is good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that whole thing. I'm gonna paste that into a new window. And remember this is 9091. So we'll go ahead and click enter. Now, uh, remember we gave it a, a username of DB tech and a password of password. Go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so now we've got uh, this again, we can uh, go ahead and click upload there. We can choose our file. We're gonna use the exact same torrent file that we used in the last video and I'll click upload. Give that just a second to think. Uh, it looks like it's working on connecting there. So we'll give this just a second. Uh, sometimes transmission can be a little slow to connect. It's actually kind of why I prefer Qubit Torrent, but here we go. We are connected to 39 out of 50 peers. We've got about 30 megabits down there, so that's good. Uh, this should just take a few more seconds, and then I'll show you how to access that file. Okay, so now this is this is turned from blue to green. Uh, so once it's green, we are good to go. So in order to get to that folder or that file rather, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up uh, this PC or our file explorer. We're gonna do backslash backslash. We're gonna type in our IP address and there we go. So now we've got a transmission folder in here as well. So if we go ahead, open that up, we've got our downloads folder right here, except I spelled downloads all wrong. So well done on me. Go ahead and open this up. We'll go to complete. And right there is the server file that we downloaded. So then you can move that over to whatever computer you want, uh, put it on a thumb drive, install your server, and you're good to go. Okay guys, there you go. Again, this is a very simple process, getting transmission installed in Open Media Vault 5. Again, using stacks. I'm such a big fan of using stacks to install uh, little applications like this. It's just easier for me. Uh, hopefully you found it easy. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. Would really let me know that you guys are enjoying this content. Again, because of the topic of this content, there's a real good chance that this video was demonetized. So do me a favor, if you found the video helpful and you can afford it slash want to, uh, there'll be some links in the description where you can support the channel directly. Uh, all that being said, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.